Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada PR. We hope you're doing great. In this video we're going to talk about the latest IRCC processing times as of September 2024. As of September 2024, processing times for immigration and visa applications through Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada have seen various updates. These processing times can significantly impact applicants, whether they are pursuing permanent residency, work permits, study permits, or visitor visas. Staying informed about current wait times is essential for effective planning and managing expectations. In this video we provide a detailed overview of the latest IRCC processing times, highlighting key trends, average wait times, and what applicants can do to minimize delays. If you are interested in this topic, please pay attention and watch the video through to the end to get all the information please hit like and subscribe and don't forget to push the notification bell for an upcoming video. So without any further delay, let's jump into the video. The Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada recently revised their processing times for various immigration applications on September 11th and 4. Staying informed about these updates is crucial for applicants to effectively plan and manage their immigration process. Monitoring the latest processing times from IRCC can greatly assist applicants in setting realistic expectations and preparing for their journey ahead. These updates reflect the IRCC's continuous efforts to enhance and streamline the immigration process. Overview of processing time updates. Starting in May 2024, IRCC began providing monthly updates on the average processing times for citizenship applications, family sponsorship, and economic immigration. Meanwhile, processing times for business immigration, temporary residency applications, and permanent resident cards are updated weekly. These timelines offer applicants a clearer understanding of how long it may take to receive a decision on their applications. Processing times for PR cards and citizenship. Citizenship updated monthly. Citizenship grant seven months no change since July 31st, but reduced by one month since June 3rd. Citizenship certificate proof of citizenship three months no change since June 3rd. Renunciation of citizenship 16 months increased by three months since July 31st. Search of citizenship records 11 months reduced by two months since July 31st. EPR cards updated weekly. UPR card 25 days reduced by three days since August 20th and by 17 days since July 30th. PR card renewal 71 days reduced by one day since September 4th and by four days since June 25th. Family sponsorship processing times updated monthly. Family sponsorship processing times are updated monthly and are influenced by factors such as the number of applications received, the workforce assigned to process them, and expected future applications. As of July 2024, the updated processing times are as follows spouse or common-law partner outside Canada excluding Quebec 10 months no change outside Canada Quebec 35 months increased by three months since July 3rd inside Canada excluding Quebec 13 months increased by two months since July 31st inside Canada Quebec 27 months increased by three months since July 31st parents or grandparents would outside Quebec 24 months no change Quebec 48 months no change economic immigration processing times economic immigration processing times are updated both monthly and weekly depending on the program express entry Canadian experience class 5 months no change federal skilled worker program 5 months no change federal skilled trades program no update since March 1st 2023 Provincial Nominee Program, via Express Entry 6 Months No Change Non-Express Entry Non-Express Entry PNP 12 Months Increased by 1 Month Since July 31st Quebec Skilled Workers 9 Months No Change Quebec Business Class 47 Months Increased by 1 Month Since July 31st Federal Self-Employed 48 Months Increased by 1 Month Since July 31st Atlantic Immigration Program 7 Months No Change 
startup visa 40 months increased by two months since July 31st. Temporary residency processing times updated weekly. Processing times for temporary residency applications are updated weekly and reflect how long IRCC took to process the majority of applications, excluding biometric processing times. Visitor visa outside Canada varies by country. India 83 days increased by 7 days since September 4th and 20 days since August 20th. Nigeria 171 days reduced by 1 day since September 4th and by 4 days since August 20th. United States 37 days reduced by 3 days since September 4th, but increased by 1 day since August 20th. Pakistan 35 days reduced by 3 days since September 4th and by 12 days since August 20th. Philippines 24 days reduced by 1 day since September 4th. Temporary residency processing times updated weekly. Processing times for temporary residency applications are updated weekly and reflect how long IRCC took to process the majority of applications, excluding biometric processing times. Visitor visa outside Canada varies by country. India 83 days increased by 7 days since September 4th and 20 days since August 20th. Nigeria 171 days reduced by 1 day since September 4th and by 4 days since August 20th. United States 37 days reduced by 3 days since September 4th, but increased by 1 day since August 20th. Pakistan 35 days reduced by 3 days since September 4th and by 12 days since August 20th. Philippines 24 days reduced by 1 day since September 4th. India 77 days increased by 6 days since September 4th and by 9 days since August 20th. Nigeria 66 days reduced by 1 day since September 4th, but increased by 4 days since August 27th. United States 237 days no change since September 4th, but increased by 33 days since August 27th. Pakistan 149 days increased by 5 days since September 4th, and no change since August 27th. Philippines 108 days no change since August 27th, but increased by one day since August 20th. Study permit outside Canada varies by country. But India 5 weeks no change since August 27th, but overall increased by one week since July 24th. Nigeria 8 weeks increased by one week since August 27th, and by two weeks since August 20th. United States 12 weeks no change since August 27th, but overall increased by 3 weeks since July 24th. Pakistan 9 weeks increased by 1 week since August 27th. Philippines 7 weeks no change since August 27th, but overall reduced by 1 week since July 24th. Study permits. Inside Canada 13 weeks increased by one week since September 4th, and by two weeks since August 14th, and by three weeks since July 24th. Study permit extension 96 days increased by seven days since September 4th, and by 26 days since August 20th. Work permit outside Canada varies by country. India 27 weeks increased by one week since September 4th, and by five weeks since August 27th and by seven weeks since August 20th. Nigeria 15 weeks increased by one week since September 4th and by two weeks since August 20th. United States 16 weeks increased by one week since August 27th, but overall no change since August 20th. Pakistan 8 weeks reduced by one week since September 4th and by two weeks since August 27th. Philippines 10 weeks increased by 2 weeks since August 27th and by 3 weeks since August 14th. Work permit inside Canada. Online 123 days increased by 4 days since September 4th and 6 days since August 20th. Other temporary residency categories. International Experience Canada current season 5 weeks no change since August 27th, but reduced by 1 week since August 20th. Seasonal Agricultural Workers Program SAWP 260 days increased by 88 days since September 4th and by 138 days since August 20th. Electronic Travel Authorization 5 Minutes. 
For the latest updates on processing times and specific case inquiries, it's recommended to regularly check the IRCC website or seek advice from an immigration professional. In conclusion, understanding the latest IRCC processing times as of September 2024 is crucial for anyone navigating the Canadian immigration system. While processing times can vary based on application type, region and volume of submissions, being informed can help applicants better prepare for the waiting periods. Whether you are applying for permanent residency, work permits or visitor visas, staying up to date with IRCC timelines ensures you can make informed decisions and reduce any unnecessary delays in your immigration journey. That is all for today in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully the information is useful to you. See you later in the next video. Till then, take care. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chen Kenda PR. We hope you're doing great. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest IRCC processing times as of September 2024. The latest IRCC processing times were updated in September 2024, providing additional essential insights for individuals navigating the Canadian immigration system. These videos are crucial for setting realistic expectations and efficiently managing the immigration process, whether applying for citizenship, permanent residency, work permits or temporary visas. IRCC offers monthly updates for citizenship applications, family sponsorship and economic immigration, while business immigration, temporary residency and permanent resident cards are updated weekly. For example, the processing time for a new PR card has been reduced to 25 days, a 17-day improvement since July 2024. Meanwhile, studentship grants take approximately 7 months and renunciation of studentship has increased to 16 months. Family sponsorship applications have also seen updates while with processing times varying significantly. For instance, sponsorship of a spouse or common-law partner in outside Quebec takes 10 months, while in Quebec, the process can extend to 35 months. Parental sponsorship outside Quebec remains at 24 months, but applicants in Quebec face a wait of up to, to 48 months. In the realm of economic immigration, express entry processing times for the Canadian Experience class and Federal Skilled Worker program remain steady at 5 months. However, non-express entry applicants, such as those applying through Provincial Nominee program, may face longer waits, with processing times increasing to 12 months. Temporary residency applications, including visitor visas and study permits, are updated weekly, with timelines varying by country. For instance, visitor visa process processing for applicants from India is currently 83 days, while study permits for Indian applicants take around 5 weeks. As IRCC processing times fluctuate based on factors like application volume and regional demand, staying informed about these changes is critical. Regular checking updates and seeking professional guidance can help applicants avoid delays and make informed decisions during their immigration journey.